Welcome back design enthusiasts, today I am guiding you through the mysterious realm of object editing mode in Figma. You know that place with uh, those trippy lines, you might feel a bit like a design libertarian. But if you are ever found yourself accidentally trapped there, fear not, I am here to be your escape wizard. So why are we diving into this early in the course? Well if you are a double clicker like me, you might have stumbled into the territory unknowingly. Let's diminish it and learn how to break from it. Like currently I'm in object editing mode by accidentally. Let's imagine it is accidentally. If you want to get out of it, you can just click on the no man land and you are out of object editing mode. Like another option is if I get into object editing mode, this bar will pop up or this like navigation bar will change into this uh, object editing mode and uh, you can click on the done. But if I go into object editing mode and you can see we got some options like we can edit our object. So currently it's square, I can make this square into something else. Like I can make this into diamond or uh, I can change the shape as well as if I, I can also make the, like uh, let's say I want to make this side around it. So I can drag it like this. I can drag it outside or drag it inside to create this weird shape. <laughs> okay, let's say you want to remove this fill. So what you can do is that you can choose this paint bucket tool the shortcut is for is B. So as you can see the icon or cursor is changed into this drop and in that drop we have minus button like uh, it has a minus symbol. If I click on it you can see the fill is removed but if I want to add it again I can just click on it and by default it chooses grey. You can also change the color from it. You already know how to change the color. So I'm gonna choose this one for now. Okay I'm really obsessed with that uh, industry yellow color. Okay so this is how you can get out of from object editing mode. But let's say you want to intentionally go into object editing mode. What you can do is that you can choose the element or shape and click on this button like the square dotted button. So you are now into object editing mode. You can edit your object like this. You can do anything with it. Well, let's make something weird. <laughs> oh, I made a P. So, oh, not that P. I made in alphabet. <laughs> okay. So that's how you can get out of object editing mode and um, things you can do with object editing mode. So I'm going to delete this masterpiece, it's so it purpose. Now you are armed with knowledge of what object editing mode is, how to gracefully exit it from it. So that's it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one.